they work hard Whee! and spend even harder. Quarter of a million pounds, but I think that's a bit of a bargain. Britain's flashiest families can't resist splashing their cash. I would love to be the flashiest bitch in the UK. It's a life where money is simply no object. It's 154,990. 2,970. Is that all? Yeah. Where one supercar is never enough. <laughs> Where mansions are multi-million pound. This is absolutely stunning. Oh, my God. Everything I love is extremely expensive. And even pets get five-star treatment. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Britain's flashiest families. This car is so sexy. It's the most sexy thing ever in town. Oh, listen to that. Fireworks boss Nigel Turver knows all about being flash, especially when it comes to the cars parked up outside his South Yorkshire home. I'm known as Supercar Nigel simply because I like my supercars. I thought, why not buy myself a supercar? Then I thought, why not buy a second supercar, then a third supercar? And we absolutely love them. One was bought for the youngest of his two lads. So this is my son, Supercar Harry. Now he's got the Porsche Cayman 718 GTS. He's saying this is the fastest, but I'm saying no, 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 no. It's not the fastest. This is the fastest when Daddy Bear gets in this one. This is the GT3 RS. This is the fastest. So how much was your Cayman? Uh, that was just over 70,000. Um, and you've got your GT3 RS, which is... Which was, of course, almost a quarter of a million pounds, <laughs> but I think that's a bit of a bargain. <laughs> and then, obviously, you've got your the Carrera Cabrera. 4S, which is a yeah, little bit... Yeah, that's an 120 grand car. Yeah. Ideal for knocking about it. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money that he spends on cars is ridiculous. Um, but we work hard, and to be fair, I know this is going to sound really, really cheesy, but... Um, if I, if Nigel is happy, I am happy. This year, you have gone a little bit crazy there. I did buy five Porsches in one month. Yeah, I, I was going a little bit crazy with them. Now Nigel has just four Porsches, including one for Mandy. And he has an ultimate motor for the couple's regular trips to their favourite restaurant. It properly is the dog's isn't it? These are a quarter million pound plus car. Everything is measured against the Rolls Royce. It's that nice that I recommend everybody should have one of these because they're worth having. And it's just beautiful, isn't it? This week I'm cleaning the car on my own and that's simply because uh, last time um, I had it done by a professional detailing company. 500 pound a day, it took four days, so 2,000 pound. So I'm saving myself a quid or two this week. Mandy and Nigel's wealth has come from retail, starting with the family grocers, next by cashing cheques and running a pawnbroker's. Three grams per firework. Before focusing on selling fireworks. We're one of the biggest, but we're certainly the best. Uh, I believe we're the best. If I wasn't the best, I'd never be happy. If I had a religion, my religion would certainly be work comes first and nothing comes before work. I've got John's order here, Harry. If you can ban that and get it sent out, that'd be fabulous. Um, get it sent out with road freight. Yeah. It's those years of hard graft that pay for this fleet, along with a few substantial loans. They're the biggest expense in my life, right That's good, that's not me. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Mm. Car costs probably 1,500 quid a week, don't they? It's ridiculous. <laughs> London-based reality star Ashleen Horgan Wallace is also enjoying her wealth to the very max, and she wants everyone to know it. I'm unapologetic. I know where I've come from. I have every right to be. I'm a flashy bitch. She's made a rags to riches journey and now spends exclusive nights out rubbing shoulders with celebrities and posing for the paparazzi with those next day pics ensuring she always stays in the public eye. I would love to be the flashiest bitch in the UK. But who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I don't want to be plain Jane, that's not me. Never has been, never will be. Ashleen's big break in Big Brother came more than 10 years ago. Since then, her media career has led to a tidy fortune. 
I wouldn't like to tell you exactly how rich I am because truthfully, I don't know. But I am, I am a multimillionaire and I've achieved that through graft, hard work, clever business moves, mainly through property. Um, and my tits, they helped quite a lot. <laughs> Lizzie and Patrick also love to be flash, although their luxuries are mostly lavished on Little Oscar. Yeah, here's my little baby. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't want children, I just want two hours. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what Lizzie wants, Lizzie, two hours, I'm quite taken to him, so it suits me. And this chihuahua isn't just smothered with love. In his London flat, he also has a wardrobe to die for. Oscar's wardrobe is completely amazing. He's got more clothes than I have. This is his Burberry style jacket. So when we're going out to a fancy restaurant or, you know, something like that, this looks perfect on him. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm just getting really excited. This is so adorable. This is his yellow raincoat. You can't miss him. Just need some little Wellingtons to go with it. Oh, this is cute as well. This is a little penguin. Matching jumpers. Rock dog denim jacket. I couldn't tell you how much I've spent on Oscar's wardrobe. Uh, for me, it's not really about the money. Like, if I see something and it looks good on him, then I will get it. Oscar's not just particular about what he wears. He had beef last week, yeah. so should we try him with something different? Yeah. Oscar is the most fussiest eater in the whole entire universe. We give him salmon, beef, chicken. Oh, it's been a wait for his chicken, isn't it? I know. He eats better than you do. I know he does. And then he's really fussy with water as well. He actually doesn't... He doesn't like the tap water. No. Does he does not like the tap water. Yeah. We normally just give him bottled water. Honestly, he can taste the difference. I'm not, I'm not joking you. He actually he can. can. He's a total snob. <laughs> Look, he's really hungry. He wants his brekkie. Oh. I think Oscar is the flashiest dog in the so. country. Do you, babe? <laughs> Britain's Splash's families just look to splash their cash. And with Garlia Granger, that generally means by the millions. She was almost penniless when she came to the UK from Russia 30 years ago. Now she has a property empire. I own 10 properties and most of them I purchased because of amazing views. One of those rooms with a view is this Sussex country house. And there's a nearby pad overlooking the site of the Battle of Hastings. So when I say views are important to me, I mean that type of views are important to me. It's um, a major landmark in the history of uh, UK. Now how special is this? But the Knightsbridge penthouse flat is the jewel in her crown. Well, what can you say, the Royal Albert Hall straight from your windows, that is a priceless view. I mean, how much value can you put on a property with that type of view? Galia married well and worked hard to build up her own slimming company. Now she can pretty much afford whatever she likes. I am a lover of antiques and all things unusual. It's just very unfortunate that everything I love is extremely expensive. I spend over the top because I'm over the top person. So Galia didn't blink at a unique designer kitchen worth a hundred grand. For me, it's a piece of art. It um, holds the value, it's a good investment. It's almost that type of kitchen where you only use the fringe to keep the champagne, you only use the sink to crush the ice, and you only use the dishwasher to wash the glasses afterwards. And the centerpiece of this apartment is her remarkable bespoke bed. So this one's got amazing awning stock. It is lined with ostrich, so you're just comfortable. And um, yeah, some lovely sting ray lined shell. I mean, how amazing is that? The bed is extremely comfortable, just trust me. It's really nice. If one is to commission a piece like this, they will be looking to pay something in the region between 70 to 100K. 
you know, if you want something special, I'm afraid in this life you have to pay for it. Got an amazing bar, so you don't have to go far for your drink. And that's what I call the James Bond bedroom. For internet entrepreneur James Exton, Flash means much more than arty beds and kitchens. For him, it's the heavy lifting that fills his wallet. So I'm going to do some abs now? Everyone wants a six pack? Well, that's what I'm told at least. He co-founded a London company selling gym products. And the key to its success is a high-profile, flashy online lifestyle. There's no denying it, image is everything in what I do. Obviously, I'm not that easily mistakable. My haircut might not be the most normal, but it's kind of, that's who I am, that's what I do. And that's ultimately what I'm selling people, a lifestyle, their body and how they want to look. The clothes, the watches. For me, as a young guy growing up, that's what I wanted. And a lot of guys want to buy into that and become part of that lifestyle. In six years, this online company has grown a big fan base and the profits needed for James to afford the flashier things in life. For me, it's the nice things are what gets me up in the morning or makes me stay awake at night to do the work. So without those, I wouldn't have the motivation to do what I do. Um, there's nothing more rewarding than buying your kind of dream car. And it's even more rewarding when you've done it from, from pure grind. Tonight, James is taking his latest dream car, the black Ferrari, to a last minute supercar street gathering in London. Yellow Lamborghini is owned by Tom, another co-founder of the gym company, a big YouTube personality, and he's also James's twin brother. I put up an Instagram story earlier, and you did as yeah. well, saying we're going to be down here at 7 p.m. and that a load of kind of local local lads and sort of people with nice cars come out and say hello. It's quite a nice vibe, actually. Yeah, it's good. Like the cars are on social media, aren't they? There's no, that, that's what we do and that's what we enjoy. So it's nice to be able to get them out in the person. People see them in the flesh. They can come in, have a go. And obviously with Tom, with the YouTube channel stuff, they want to meet they want to meet us guys and talk to us. But it hasn't always been flashy cars. We started with a £400 Renault Clio that we went halves on that was £200 each that was something that I probably wouldn't want to be tarnished with now. It was awful. It was absolutely it awful. Wasn't, it wasn't safe for the roads, no, was it? No, no. The wheels were huge. The exhaust was horrendous. It was just awful. But that's how we started. We haven't just gone Renault Clio. Lamborghini. There's been about 15 progressions in between each and every time a step, making sure we don't lose much money on them, build it up, build the pot up, and then get to this, the heights we are now. Ashleen Horgan Wallace also uses her flash for business. She's buying this London bar, and today she's meeting the designer who's going to transform it into the flashiest club in town. So I'm going to be having a lot of celebrity yeah, friends so come over. Here, yeah, so, so the yeah. DJ's going to have to get up yeah, there. Just let him stay up there. I am a property mogul, and I've done really, really well with that, but it's too stagnant for me. I need something that I can really get my teeth into. I want everything white because it's quite dark. Yeah. I want white padding. Do you know like Chesterfield? Yeah, like white padding white on the walls. Padding. So, oh, the I don't care down. if it looks like a mental asylum. Yeah. I am mental and this is my asylum. Well, we love it. It's fine. We love that. <laughs> so you know what you've done before? Yeah. The restaurant yeah. with the flooring yeah. that is an actual fish tank. Yeah, we can do that. Not a problem at all. With all the lighting inside, you can put any Perfect. tropical fish you want. You could even put a baby shark in there if you want. No we can do that way. Yeah. And yeah. there's no chance of people walking on it and putting their foot through and hurting no. the because there'll all be one thick sheet of glass. Thick. Yeah. And then on that wall there, I'm going to have um, a naked picture of a woman. Yeah. It will be me, but you won't see that it's me in a bath of milk. Just back. perfect. Do you exactly. think it sounds nutty? Yeah, it sounds brilliant. No, let's go for it. Yeah? I haven't yet reached my peak flashiness. Like, how, what can we, changes can we do here to say, right, this is Ashleen's bar now? Like, having a bar is definitely up there. Having a nightclub is definitely up there, and it's a stepping stone. But I will be there. I will have a yacht one day, and you'll be invited. There's nothing I like better, Jason, than seeing you trimming my balls. Back in South Yorkshire, everything around Nigel Turner's home is looking spick and span. And today, he's put aside his supercars to concentrate on the fireworks that he loves so much that he even has his own special collection. Welcome to my little firework museum. And as you can see in here, 
This is where I've got all my old flowers. None of these are for sale at all, and I wouldn't sell them. My favourite little box, which is this one. This is the Lion 24 shilling box. I've been offered £2,000 for this box, but it is a very special box that a collector of fireworks has actually offered me £30,000 for all these fireworks. Um, I was very tempted, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of glad I said no. Lizzie is keen to stay petite. Wait, does my bum look big in this? Better do. Ashleen is trying to make her gorgeous as maximus as possible. Good, up a little higher. Push that boot, yeah, let's go. And she hires personal trainer Jay Thomas and the whole class and go gym just for herself. The reason why I don't mind paying that bit extra for Jay and having the privacy of the whole of his venue is because it's all about my butt. Good, lots of breaths, breathe in. Where that booty girl, come on. Deep breath in. You know, I'm not Madonna, but when I do go to the gym, like with loads of other people, sometimes people ask me for selfies and Sometimes they look at me and think, oh, she doesn't look as fit as I thought she was, so I'd just much rather the privacy. Let's get our booty working. Breathe in, out, good. You've got to Three. speculate good. to accumulate, and he's worth the speculation because he makes my butt messy. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Push. Good, down we go, Ash. Push. Good, breathe in on the way down. Ashley's booty ambition is to keep up with a rather well-known US family. I wish I was a Kardashian level of flashy. I wish I was the Kardashian level of ass. I wish I was the Kardashian level of fame. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna work at all of them, all of them. But Ashleen hasn't always been this positive. So this is my app, Seven Minutes with Ashleen, and I made it basically because I was going through a, a quite a serious bout of depression. And I noticed too that a lot of my followers were on social media. And it was exercising at home that started Ashley's recovery. It was like a miracle had happened. And I thought, well, if it works for me and I was in such severe depression, then I want, I want everyone to know that this is a free healing process. You can do this. Even though I'm not making a penny from it, it is one of my proudest things that I've achieved, yeah. Three, two, one, pow! Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I love him, really. Yeah. He's just my type. Back in South Yorkshire, the gym is the last thing on Supercar Nigel's mind. He's dusted off his 6.6-litre .6 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost for a night out with a woman he married 30 years ago. My three mm. loves in life are obviously food, Cars and fireworks, not including Mandy. We like to go a little bit OTT with all of them, don't we really, darling? Oh, yeah. So tonight we're going out for a, a nice meal. A Tuesday tea. Tuesday tea. Tuesday yes. tea. Uh, but we go to out. To a nice special yeah. restaurant. We like food. Simple as that. We like food. Food. Does it show that I like food? <laughs> there we go. Mm, my mouth is actually it physically watering <laughs> thinking about that. Can I have a main course portion? <laughs> Knock it for starter, please. Uh, yes, and then squad pigeon for main. Sounds brilliant. We always do them in extra course, so uh, if they're having a three course, it'll turn into a four all the time. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, for you. And my usual for me? Pepsi Max in your Pepsi Max. Gin in glass. a nice gin glass. So, he drinks Pepsi Max, and that's all he likes to drink, so we've got that in specially for him. He once asked us for chips, joking around with vinegar. So now every time he appears, we uh, get him chips and vinegar as a special regular treat. Well, well, that's you. what you call service, isn't it? Chips, vinegar and mayonnaise. Said last night we we're going to go on a diet. I think, I think, I don't think it's going to ever happen. It's just, well, it's you just could have so had the barbecued baby jam lettuce, but as far as well, most other things, well, I don't think so. The food was amazing, only topped by the company, of course, of Mrs. Amanda Turva, who is absolutely beautiful. Oh, come on, needs to come go. On. Need me Thanks a lot. Off we go. Good night. Coming up, doggy facials, garden statues, and ballerinas on the fizz.
Extravagance is what Britain's flashiest families are all about. This is Dean on the dinosaur. And supercar Nigel has really gone full throttle with all the statues in his garden. Here's another thing I like to spend my money on. Obviously, a set of Simpsons in the garden. Very nice. A lot of these sculptures are basically people who are bigger and fatter than me. Elvis Presley came first. Oh, Elvis Presley, we, had an, we haven't got Elvis anymore, Elvis unfortunately. Is... Left the building. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. No. I don't even know why we've got a Star Wars a hole. This is Gordon the Gorilla. Good lad. And then here we've got Bernard. So this is our Bernard. He lives on my yard as well with the rest of them. I think all my statues in Ghana, I've probably spent about 15,000 quid on them, which is not too bad, is it? Our wealth is actually all the things that we do purchase, the characters, the cars. cars. That's what we spend our money on. We don't, we don't invest, we don't save. We just don't do that. But he still loves a bit of a bargain. So I went to get a fillet steak. The butcher said to me, well, if you buy a full case, Nigel, We'll do you a 15% discount. I thought, why not? We're still £454 for six fillets. So that's why we're having fillet steak for breakfast, dinner and tea at the moment. Now Nigel's planning to cook up a special firework bash for Mandy's 50th. So we're having a full hog roast, which feeds 200 people, even though there's only going to be 60 people here. We'll do everything that Mandy likes, which is basically we'll be drinking wine. <laughs> champagne. Lots of wine and champagne. Beautiful. Lizzie and Patrick are also going large. With Oscar's birthday just around the corner, they're splashing out on party planners to ensure that when this dog has its day, everything's perfect. Now, we know Oscar loves balloons. So... He does. <laughs> Oscar Look at this loves little... balloons! <laughs> we pose pallet level seating with cushions. <laughs> And then the ad owners and the dogs can sit together at the oh, table. Wow. Wow. I love that. Wow. But this event isn't just a doggy party. It's also in memory of Lizzie's much-loved Nan. I was brought up by my nan and granddad. And we got Oscar after my granddad passed away. So Oscar helped my nan through absolutely everything. So this year, I really, it was our first year without my nan. So. I really wanted to make this birthday really special for all of us. Each guest has their own dog bowl, each of which will be personalised. The party will be held in the garden of their rented London flat, and there will be doggy treats galore. <laughs> the birthday cake will feature as part of this display, yeah. and it makes a really great family photo that you can treasure. It's all been Lizzie's baby, and I think that's why we started off at one figure, and it just grew and grew and grew. She went ballistic at me. I was me. like, babe, you keep saying yes to all this stuff. What is, what is the total cost going to be for this party? Have you got any idea? No, I don't know. <laughs> so, the moment of truth. To deliver this party for Oscar um, will be 7200 Amazing. Yeah. Can't wait, honestly. Great. It's going to be Thank amazing, you. guys. My nan 
would probably think that I was barking mad, <laughs> but <laughs> that's my nan and this is me. <laughs> Online entrepreneur James Exton is also planning to flash the profits from his gym business. Today he's buying just the latest in a long line of supercars. Dean! Oh, Dean! Dean Barkle's a mate as well as a Yorkshire supercar salesman. I've seen the Lamborghini in the car park, a white one over there. Oh, and that's taken what? by. And it's something about the presence and the image of it. I mean, I know where your heart lies. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take that white Lamborghini Hurricane for a spin. I feel, I feel important in this. You know what I mean? I, I got in it, I felt special. <laughs> yeah, I felt okay. like you're spending a lot of money and you're getting it and you yeah, suddenly yeah. instantly, yeah. you're in. Oh my God. Something about a Lamborghini. It's a bit aspo, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's drama. Lamborghini! A Lamborghini! <laughs> what's going to come out of my pocket. Well, this Lamborghini at the moment is on sale at 154,990 for okay, that one. Fine. So the this finance one's only and the deal is done. I reckon it is. <laughs> it's bricks and mortar, not brakes and motor, that are on Ashley's shopping list. Hi, Ashley, Alex. Estranged from her parents, Ashleen lived in a hostel in her teens. This is absolutely stunning. Now, even though she's still single, she's looking to buy a family home to complete her rags to riches story. Okay, Ashley, I think you're going to really, really love this room. So this is what we call nice the heart space. of the home. So you've got your yeah. kitchen, dining, and then your relaxed living it's area. It's a really nice space. Looking at this house now worth three million is just such a contrast to my earlier life. Like, literally, I had clothes in a plastic bag. This is gorgeous. This is really, really nice. That was it. That's all I had. I was sofa surfing. You know, I'm not getting my violin out, but it was tough. And to have come from that to this and done it all by myself, it's mental. Like, I think to myself, am I living a dream sometimes? So one of the biggest features of this property is the cinema room. I love it. It's gorgeous. 4K HD projector, Dolby Atmos surround sound. So when you're in here, nice. it's actually like being at the, at the cinema, at the movies, but you've got one in your own house. It reminds me of Mariah's house. As in Carey? I mean, I'm not one to name drop, <laughs> darling. It was always a, a, an important factor for me to be self-made and have security and have safety before I started a family. So it feels like I'm finally there now. So hopefully the family bit will come next. Ashleen really wants kids, but she might struggle to have her own. It's not been easy. It's really, it's, it's been really quite hard losing four babies. I'm so determined to give the love that, <laughs> that I've got. Sorry. I'm so determined to give a child <laughs> a future that I've, I didn't have for myself. So it's inspired me to do better and be better. If I bought this house, I'd have plenty of room for plenty of children that need love. Um, the only thing that's missing, if I'm honest, is a helicopter pad. Oh, oh my, my God. Babe, this is the bath that I've been looking Ashleen's at. Ashleen's been planning a naked photo that. shoot yes, to celebrate her 40th. And the pics will like also be used for that mural on her nightclub oh, wall. Anyway, and now I'm she's found the perfect location. No way. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll let you use the bath for your photo shoot. What, if I buy the house? No, regardless. No way? Of course you can. Are you serious? Absolutely. My God, you're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty miles northwest at a Grand Prix racetrack, Supercar Nigel's already indulging in his passion. Extremely mega, mega, mega excited because this is what we love doing. Today, Nigel's brought son Harry and their cars to a speed challenge to decide once and for all who's the fastest. Right, we're here today at Silverstone uh, doing a track day because we love doing this track days, uh, and today we're with some amazing cars. McLaren, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, everything here, so it's like a dream, isn't it? At speeds pushing 150 miles an hour, this father versus son challenge is on. 
I was going as fast as I could go, not knowing what the bends are like. That car was sliding all over the place. And the biggest losers are the tyres. They're actually physically sticky. They are hot, hot, hot. Flying around here, you do scrub a set of tyres simply in one afternoon. Well, on the GT3 RS, they are £700 per tyre. So scrubbing two rear tyres on this will be £1,400. So there's no doubt about it, it's not a cheap day coming to a track day. Expensive, maybe, but more importantly, who was the quickest? I am a pretty fast driver, but Harry's definitely... Uh, I, have to, I have to hold my hands up and say, he's faster than me. And he is. He's a very fast driver. He should be a racing driver. Lewis Hamilton... He's admitted it. He's finally it. admitted it. I've admitted it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep Ashley doesn't have a son to treat, well, not yet anyway, so she's dishing her dough on birthday prezzies for the dad she was reunited with at the age of 19. Oh my God, I love this, I love this. Valentino jacket, we've got it in his size, XL or double XL? Double XL, yep. 100%. This is nice. Christian Dior. Dior. This is Christian Dior. Oh, there you are. I love Dior, that's why. <laughs> them, they two of them. These are nice. Yeah, yeah. Ashley knows what dad likes. After all, Flash is in her genes. I mean, I think it's in my DNA. My dad used to ride around in Porsches when he was my age, and, like, he used to have all the diamond rings and the gold chains and everything. Like, now he's a bit older, he, he tries to tell me to tame it down a bit, but I try and remind him, it's in my DNA, Dad. I got it from you. That's enough. Bring it up, babe. Let's, so you see up. Let's get this say. done. See if I need to remortgage one of my flats. Are you ready to hear the title? Go on. 2,970. I swear to God, is that all? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Right, babe. Look, I've used it so much, look. Where I'm telling you, so Back. you just sit there, don't move, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> babe, sorry, the drinks are on me, I promise you. <laughs> Thank you, babe. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, darling. See you soon. Birthdays are also on the agenda for Lizzie and Patrick. It's Oscar's party weekend. Time to make sure this top dog really does look the part. OK, so what are we doing today? The usual? Yeah, just a little, yeah. Yeah, good bath, blow dry. Yeah. Do you mean to have the blueberry facial too? Yes, please. He loves the blueberry facial. Oh, yeah, I hope he's loving it. Eh? I hope he's enjoying it as well, mate. Mm, I really do. I can't wait to see him when he's done. Mm, me down, me too. Oscar's nose to tail pampering is just the start of his treats because he also has a birthday present that's rather bling. This is his lead. It's like blue and it's like covered in glitter. And then the matching harness, which is the Absolutely the cutest thing in the world. Seriously, how amazing is that? So, 500 quid for the birthday harness, a few irresistible extras, and all the pampering that one dog can take. While for some, the big day is still to come, back in the shadow of the Royal Albert Hall, Garnier's enlightenment party is in full swing. And she's delighted the impact of her new flashy furniture. Perfect idea of the party. <laughs> I would like to be invited to a party like that myself. While the guests get warmed up backstage, the surprise performers are in final rehearsal. The main act of her light show gets the reaction Dahlia hoped for. Professional people, classically trained, is not cheap. I'll be paying in the region of £700 for four minutes. But hey boy, is it worth it? To me, it is. I was not expecting ballerina, so always a plus. Yeah, sorry, yeah. lights. Oh. Can't wait for the next one. Always the same, always very enjoyable. 
absolutely fantastic. With a surprise at the end. <laughs> Incredible, and being served by ballerina is wonderful. When I was a little girl, I just wanted to be a little ballerina, but it never happened. So seeing these little girls fulfilling their dreams was really amazing and um, made me feel happy and sad at the same time. And the fact that it happens in my own apartment is extremely special and, you know, it's priceless. Coming up. Gucci parties, launchy photos, and a birthday bash that really does. Move the band. It's just like the cutest ever doggy brunch birthday party that I've ever seen in my entire life. It's Oscar's eighth birthday party, a seven grand doggy extravaganza and the moment Lizzie and Patrick couldn't wait for. It looks so good, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Just amazing. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Is that... Everything. What water is that? Tap water. No, 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 no. Rocco and Phoenix don't drink tap water. Definite value for money. It's all bespoke. Personalised. You won't find anything else like this anywhere. And it's been made purposely for Oscar's party, so... I'm, I'm happy with it. That's a shampoo for me, thank Hi. you. Hi. Hi. One more, you ready? <laughs> to be honest, I've never been to anything quite like this before. It's not a regular occurrence. No, I think it's a very unique experience for them. Yay! Fantastic! <laughs> it is over the top, but I think at the same time it's uh, it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm just overwhelmed by the whole thing. I just think it's amazing. The dogs and Oscar and just like in my flat, it's just amazing. Yeah. We love seeing the dogs together and we love Oscar seeing the dogs together and playing together. It's like the best thing. I love seeing them all eat at the table oh, together at the same time. Was, and did you see Oscar? Oscar was like, he was, he was just tucking in, wasn't he? And finally, a sardine birthday cake made by a friend. Happy birthday, dear Oscar! Happy birthday to me! <laughs> Look at you, get me one! Oh, hang on. Well, I don't know where I'm under here. Over at Fireworks Central in Yorkshire, it's Mandy's turn to celebrate. And as it's her half century, Supercar Nigel's really pushed the boat out. Happy 50th birthday, darling. I love you. Love you, Love you, too. Every year at the beginning of August, we have a Pyromaniacs get-together. And the little difference we've done this year, we've not just got Pyromaniacs get-together, we've also got family and friends. And the reason for that is it's my wife's 50th birthday. We're obviously going to be finishing off with some big fireworks. It's usually quite hard work for me because I do all the catering. Um, but this year we have sort of incorporated my big 5 0 birthday. Um, and I've done nothing. In fact, I even got a chance to go to hairdressers and my hair done. I then just poured that and it's gone, that's a bit naughty, isn't it? But it's my birthday. <laughs> As usual, fans of Galactic Fireworks have turned out in force. We come from all over the UK. Yeah. And there's a chap here coming from Wales. We're sort of pyro freaks and we've been into fireworks for a long, long time. And I suppose we've known Nigel and Mandy probably for about six years. And Nigel and Mandy will do anything for anybody. It's more like a family now, that's why we're here today. And the pyro geeks shouldn't be disappointed. So we've got the bone shaker zombies undisputed. We're going to finish off with 32 four inch shells along with six big cat four cakes. So, it's going to be wicked, isn't it? It's going to be wicked, this. Yeah. You are my angel. My angel. Oh, you are. Throwing parties is great when you run a fireworks company and have money to burn. You are the one I this is roughly about a, I'd say about a two and a half thousand pound display, that's what we're doing tonight. 
next one, an old favourite return because we couldn't refuse again, aerial celebration. The advantage of owning a firework business, you get a free firework display. The finale was absolutely, oh my god. I was a bit nervous when Nigel said, get ready for the finale. It was um, This is what we do, and we're passionate about it. Fireworks is where we're the best at, simple as that.